Hello, Bishop Walsh here, Wednesday, March 27th, and I have the image of Jesus crucified near me here. It's illuminated as we illuminate or highlight that saving sacrifice of Jesus during this holy week that we are in. And uh, this image was a photograph from one of our parishioners over on the, the sunny side, over on Lake Huron, and it was from the cross in the woods. So many people go to the cross of the woods, our national shrine, to meditate on the crucifix and to experience the effects that it has when we contemplate that amazing gift of Jesus, the Word made flesh, who was the Lamb of God and takes away the sins of the world. You can't help with that powerful image, so prominent when you go to that shrine. Uh, it just really overwhelms you and uh, helps appreciate all the more the whole aspect of our faith that is central, that the cross is central to understanding our faith. So this Holy Week is meant to really delve into that and ex help us experience it and reflect on it and uh, celebrate it in terms of the liturgy. So these liturgies of the Triduum especially are going to be very powerful and hope everyone is going to be participating in them at your parish churches. Yesterday, we gathered for the Chrisma Mass, and it was a magnificent celebration. Thank everyone who was involved, especially in our pastoral center staff. They put a lot of work into its organization, preparation, and so many others, too, uh, came uh, from all over the diocese. We have beautiful music, um, and of course, the the main aspect of it is the two two central things of the Chrisma Mass would be the renewal of vows for our priests and also the blessing of oils for use in all of the parishes throughout the diocese. So every diocese all around the world does this. We gather around the shepherd, the main shepherd, the bishop at the cathedral, and that is uh, the mother church of the diocese. So it's a, a unifying, it's a central uh, celebration that we just gather people from all over and uh, all are represented. We have that roll call that we have here in the Diocese of Gaylor, where we call out all the parishes and schools and apostolates that are within the diocese. And uh, we thank our priests, really, when they uh, have that renewal of their vows. We pray that it interiorizes even more what their commitments were on the day of their ordination. And I felt this too. Um, and then galvanize that uh, to continue uh, continuing the gospel message of being an ambassador of that gospel message. So we thank our priests. They offer many sacrifices. Many of them go unseen. Um, and there's a lot of different aspects to priesthood, like marriage, that, you know, there's um, the glamorous types of things, the wonderful things, but there's also the crosses, the, the difficulties that we all bear. Uh, but that they're all meant to help us, uh, I guess, conform ourselves more closely to Christ. So I'm very grateful for all of our priests and those oils that are spread throughout all of the diocese and uh, the anointing of the sick, baptisms, confirmations, ordinations, they're always going to be used uh, to help us understand how richly blessed we are the, and conform to Christ, to the chrism and the Christos, the, the anointed ones that we are through baptism, priests, prophets, and kings. We are entering into the Triduum. And I pray that the Mass of the Lord's Supper on Thursday and the Liturgy of the Lord's Passion on Friday, the Easter vigils that are celebrated throughout the diocese where people who have been prepared to receive the Easter sacraments, whether it's the full initiation or the coming into the church by receiving the Holy Communion after having been baptized already or confirmation. So all of those wonderful uh, sacraments of initiation are celebrated at the Easter Vigil. And then Easter Day Masses, uh, we pray all of our families and children especially are lifted up and feel joyful uh, with the Easter proclamation and the long journey of Lent being over and 50 days of Easter about to be celebrated. So that, that's a lot uh, on our plate. It's really meant to focus us on the essentials of our discipleship and our faith commitments. Uh, we pray that all of our families are renewed and we continue to be confident in our faith and just be the light of the world, the salt of the earth, the leaven in the bread that Jesus asks us to be. So may God bless each one of us uh, during this time of the Triduum and we'll enter into Easter as an Easter people. 
God bless you.